This is how to enlarge images using Microsoft Paint and a product called Imaginer. First start Paint by going to the Start button and then you're going to type in the word Paint. If you're on Windows 8 or another operating system the process will be different but every Windows computer has Paint. Once it's started you want to go up to the top and click the down arrow and then open a menu item. In this case we're going to load an image called Couple. This is an image that was taken with a high-res camera of a couple, but their clothes are kind of old. As you can see, there's holes in the jeans, and the woman's purse is too big. Besides, this guy's not her boyfriend any longer. Anyway, so you want to click Select in the upper menu bar, and then select a portrait-like selection of the woman's head. And then you're going to crop using the Crop button crop button is right up next to the select button on the menu bar as you can see. Once you click the crop button you'll see that we just selected a portion of the woman's head. And now you're going to save the file but don't click the save disk because you'll overwrite couple.bmp. You want to save it as a different file name and in this case we're going to give it a file name of portrait. Now you're going to close out Paint, and then we're going to open up Nissan Software's Imaginer Unlimited for the enlargement. So we're going to go back to the My Pictures directory, and then we're going to choose the portrait that we just selected. Now as you can see, up in the width and the height, when we choose the inches, it's going to show you that this image is only 1.1 inches by 1.5 inches, and we need it to 5 by 7. So since that's not stretching across a whole football field, which Imaginer Unlimited would do, we're just going to choose the Nissan Progressive Plus Plus resampling method in this product. And then we're going to click Resize. Now in Imaginer, when you're resizing, you want to keep an eye on your physical and total memory, but this computer has a lot of memory, so there's no issue with that. Once it's resized, you can take a look at the image by moving it around in the preview pane. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to sharpen the enlargement. These are some standard values for the amount, radius, and threshold that we know tend to work. And you click apply and it applies the sharpening procedure. And you can see that the image has made quite a bit sharper with that operation. Now we're going to choose File and then Save As. And we're going to give it a different file name. We're going to name it Portrait Enlarged and Sharpened. Now when we go back out, close Imaginer and go back out and look at the enlargement. Go to our pictures directory on the E drive. You can see that the enlargement is very clear. This is a 5x7 image that you can easily put in a 5x7 frame. You can test the size of the image by hitting Alt Enter to go into the item properties and then you click on details and you'll see that the image is 1500 by 2089 pixels. Now there's a calculator that you can use that will calculate pixels to Im images. It's tiforama.com slash tools slash pixels underscore inches that HTML and all you do is you note the DOS per inch resolution and the image height and the width and you put it in. In this case it's 1500 pixels wide, 2089 pixels high, and this was at 300 DOS per inch. So you can see that the resulting image is 5 inches by almost 7 inches and will go nicely in a frame. You can get Imaginer on sale if you click on this link and thanks for watching.